All right, this is the last example for today's lesson. Now, for this one, um, you may think it's uh, it, it it actually is easier, okay? Although it looks uglier, but it's actually easier. Now, it's going to be very similar to the previous one. Uh, we are given one root, right? But it's actually two roots. So the other root would be negative 2 minus i root 15 over 2, okay? So you have a plus, you have a minus, so... Uh, so that's how you would handle it. So uh, so we can simply write down negative 2 plus or minus i root 15 over 2. And just like the previous example, we are just walking backward. So how? We are going to eventually make the right-hand side equal to 0, one by one, one step at a time. So the first thing that we do is to multiply 2 on both sides so that we no longer have a fraction. Okay? And then uh, the reason why you have a minus 2, because there was a plus 2 on the left. Okay. And uh, there's an I right there. Oh, the reason why there's an I is because uh, it was supposed to be a square root of negative 15. Okay. And then uh, to get rid of the plus or minus square root, I mean, the whole reason why there was a plus or minus square root was because there was a square and then we take the square root of it, right? So let's just square both sides so that we can remove the plus or minus square root. So you have just negative 15. The left-hand side, you would have to do FOIL. If you do the FOIL, you would get 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. And then to get the right-hand side equal to 0, you would add 15 on both sides. So you get plus 19 uh, as your constant on the left. And just like this, just like this, you actually have your um, equation. And for this one, you actually do not have to walk the extra step to find out the A value because it already has the A value. The A value will be 4, the B value will be 8, the C value will be 19, okay? So if you look at this example and the previous example, you can see the parallel right here, and that is, hey, you've got the roots, so um, uh, you've got the I, so, you know, it's going backward. Uh, so let's say X equals to the root, and then we're just reversing every single step one at a time. And then you've got your, uh, you restore the original equation, okay? So make sure you do the practice and the homework over the uh, over the weekend, and then uh, and that would be your uh, work to make sure that you can write these uh, equations. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Don't miss it.